I'm going to show you how you can change the employee name that appears on the bottom of the online receipts or the printed receipts. As you know, each time a transaction occurs, the cashier's name is shown on the receipts. So if you want to change it to somebody else's name, you can do that. Here's the steps on how to do that. You first go to Clover.com. Remember when I say Clover.com, I'm saying go to Clover.com from your laptop, from your computer, and log in. Once you're logged in, you'll see your dashboard. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find employees. So search on the left-hand side here until you see employees, okay? Once you find employees, mine is right. Just keep looking until you find it. Oh, there it is right there. I already had it clicked on. <clears throat> so, uh, in this version of the dashboard, is towards the very top left, okay? So, yours may be down here somewhere else, but just look for it until you find it. So, the way it works is whoever logged into Smart Online Order last becomes the cashier. So, right now, I'm logged in under my name. If I were to open the Smart Online Order app, I will be the cashier. So, if you want to change it to somebody else, log in with their name and then open smart online order app okay so let's suppose you want to make the cashier somebody neutral and you want to give them a different name that doesn't even work there let's suppose you don't want it to be anybody at your business but you want it to be a neutral name you can do that just make a new employee add new employee right here and then just call call that person online order okay you give them a nickname and then Okay, email address, very important. You have to add their email address. Why? Because you have to log in with this new employee. Once you log in with this employee, then then you'll that new it'll say online order here. Okay. So again, you're gonna make a new employee. You can call them whatever name you want, or you can choose an existing employee. If you decide to make a new employee, give it an email address. Perhaps you can use one of your email addresses or make a new email account on gmail or on yahoo and then and then log in with that employee okay um and once you log in with that employee when i say log in i'm not saying log in on the clover device with the four digit passcode i'm talking about logging in from here like this you know how i logged in here log in like that once you log in with the new employee and it says the new name here from here just open the smart online order app right here and that's it the employee name has been changed that's it. Nothing else you have to do. Just close the screen. You're going to see these options. You can ignore it. Just close the screen and you're all done. Now you have the new name uh, changed automatically. Thank you.